back to back. This is the Gatorade bag. Yeah, we burned up with a K. Did you? Occupied the back two pews in our church for, we still do for 40 years. Yeah. So I actually came here with Regeneration Technologies before. Um, <laughs> Not cool. Dallas, my wife's from Dallas. Is my daughters are all close. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. Well, we had it, and it has this much energy as TV. So, to an Eskimo, that's him right there. Okay. So, he's the one that. Thank you for having us for being here together. One, two, and three. How are you doing? She is a fabulous friend, and she and her husband are a great team. Gatorade has been a phenomenal success story by any measure. It started out as a research, research project on Florida Field using $46 worth of supplies. That led to a $5 billion a year sales throughout the world. It not only dominates the sports beverage market and is an American cultural icon, but it's also the best oral rehydration solution for cholera and infant diarrhea throughout the world, and has saved countless lives. Since 1973, it has provided over $240 million in revenues and royalties to the University of Florida mostly to fund advanced medical research. In 2012, it brought in about 17 million and has funded everything from diabetes research to advanced gene therapy. Of course, it wasn't just my dad that made this idea a reality, and I'm very pleased to say that one of the four original doctors of the team is here with us today, and I would like to recognize Dr. Alex De Casada. Please stand. <laughs> Dr. Cade will join two other vin inventors on the governor's great Floridians list, the other two being a man named Thomas Edison and John Gorey, who invented the air conditioning. And that's a pretty powerful trio, if you think about it. <laughs> and that's pretty good company for Dr. Cade to be in as well. Dr. Cade was way ahead of his time. And the truth is, it took our university some time to catch up, if indeed we have yet. But thanks to his team, our team now extends from the town gown relationship to Innovation Square, to Innovation Gainesville, to the, to the Innovation Gainesville Community and Redevelopment Agency Acts, and to the Cade Museum and its annual prize for innovation. It's a continuum of success that builds upon itself. Here's, when, here's what we've got to all do, um, is we've got to go sell ourselves. I mean, look at what Gainesville's got, this museum. Go tell our story. Um, and we have, there's every reason all these entrepreneurs ought to be here. This is the place to do it. This is, this is where you live the, what Doobie said, the American dream. Uh, we were talking about the, uh, the Cade Award. We've got to figure out how to promote that. Uh, so uh, that's one thing I'll do. I, I mean, I travel the state every day, and I promote this darn state. And this is a place that it's easy to promote. So today we're here to thank um, Dr. Uh, Robert Cade's family for being such great members of the Gainesville and the University of Florida community. Dr. K changed the world of athletics and academics. He spent 38 years at the University of Florida, shaping the lives of countless people who he encountered. He was born in San Antonio, Texas in 1927, graduated from Texas Southwestern Medical School, then served in the Navy. Dr. K joined the university as an assistant professor in 61. His work at the university goes on, went on to create a brand identity. Today I'm happy to be here at the K Museum, joined by the K family, as we celebrate his legacy. The State of the Art Museum, which I know you're working on uh, going across the street, which will be fun, uh, will leave a lasting legacy on the entire state. What I like about it, it talks about entrepreneurship. Uh, the museum will continue to be a place where great young minds can come and have the resources needed to invent, create, and solve problems. I want to thank everybody in, involved in making this museum uh, a reality. The great Floridian designation uh, we're all here for today to uh, talk about is in recognition of the outstanding achievements of men and women who have made significant contributions. All right, but it's a great honor to, uh, to give you an honor of you and your husband, so uh, congratulations. You should be very proud of what uh, you and your family have done, and uh, I know your family's not stopping. So congratulations in honor of the memory of Dr. Robert K. Pierce and Great Florida Network. So my dad didn't start out as a great Floridian. In fact, he didn't even start out as a great Texan. 
I allow me to read you a letter to his mother from Mrs. Martha Henderson, a teacher at Brackenridge High School in San Antonio, that stated December 12, 1941. Dear Mrs. Cade, I am sorry to report there is no favorable change in Robert's conduct or attitude. <laughs> Since report cards were sent home, the greatest trouble is lack of self-control, lack of appreciation, and lack of consideration for those students who do want to learn. <laughs> Robert could be an outstanding student, but he chooses to make silly remarks rather than constructive remarks. He is doing everything possible to not get anything out of class. Seems to me, with his intelligence, Robert should realize he is doing himself a great deal of harm. Sincerely, Martha Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> the attendance counselor at school voted him most likely to end up in jail. <laughs> Many of you here have memories of my dad as being a famous scientist and a researcher, but when I think of him, it's most often in the context of a man who was just moved by beauty. He often cried when he heard particularly beautiful music, especially Bach, and he insisted that Bach or Beethoven be the first thing that we six kids heard when we came home from the hospital as infants. He became obsessed with the beautiful design of Studebakers, and he wanted to add one to his collection every year, stretching into hundreds of years, because Studebakers were 1848 to 1965, and he cultivated roses, simply loved beautiful things, and he was moved by them. Governor Scott, I'm sorry that you never got to meet my dad. I think you would have liked him a lot, and I think he would have liked you. In fact, he probably would have recited poetry to you, or two, or six. <laughs> and my dad was also a gift giver, so he probably would have also given you a gift. So on behalf of the Cade family and the Cade Museum, we would like to present you with a gift in his memory. If you can hold it up, um, with a certain angle, yeah, come up here. Do you recognize this profile? <laughs> that is his lovely wife's profile. Um, many of you know this would have been my father's 86th birthday. First off, I've met somebody who has a lot of energy uh, and really cares about entrepreneurship and innovation, uh, and that's his daughter Phoebe. Uh, this is really an honor for the uh, Robert Kane family uh, for the Great Floating Award. There's only 82 people that have received it, and it's a great honor to be here and give it to your family today.